Hi guys, it's Liz. And today I wanted to tell you a little bit more about my surgery and stuff. Um, I actually had three questions come from some viewers and ask me <clears throat> questions about my incisions that I showed last week. One was what kind of hysterectomy did I have? And because originally they used to be like vertical or horizontal, really big cuts and why I only had four little incisions. Um, that is because I had a liposcopic hysterectomy. So um, they went in with, it was three cutter tools and one camera so that they could see. <laughs> and um, then they cut everything out and then I have an incision inside and that's where everything came out. And then two was, why do they look so dirty? Um, mine are dissolvable stitches. Sorry, I keep forgetting the word dissolvable. Oh, excuse me. And then my surgeon put uh, surgical glue over them to keep them clean and to protect the, the dissolvable stitches so, like, my shirt doesn't catch on them and then rip them out and different gross things like that. <laughs> um, and then three, what do I have left? Um, or if anything, I think is what the question was. And I actually only have my ovaries left. So the actual part that is your vagina is the part that like boys can go into. I still have that part, but everything from the vagina to my ovaries are gone. So like my uterus, my cervix, my fallopian tubes. I feel like there was a fourth thing my doctor mentioned, but I don't know. <laughs> um, so the reason she left my ovaries, which I wasn't too keen on, but I, once she explained it, I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, she said that it would shorten my lifespan because I am only 32. And if she took them, it would put me into menopause right away. And I would have to take a hormone supplement for the rest of my life. Mm, I don't even like to take the meds I have to take. So I wasn't keen on that. Um, so I agreed to keep them because that was the best option from what she told me. And so I had the surgery. And so far... I have not had a bit of trouble, except for the healing and the abdomen pain. <laughs> um, about two weeks after my surgery, sorry, I'm so wiggly, oh, my arm hurts. Um, I actually got really sick and had a huge cough. Like, I was coughing so hard I was throwing up. But then, or now... After I got well again, I'm still stuffy, I actually have a kidney stone. So, like, I've been so sore. <laughs> and I'm very fortunate that I do have a high pain tolerance, but... <sighs> you guys, I've been so sore. <laughs> but everything's going good, and <clears throat> when she looked at my incisions... um about two weeks now, she said that everything looked great and to keep doing what I'm doing. And after the scabs fall off, I can kind of clean around the incisions to peel, to, you know, to take up the glue. But I decided to wait on that because my abdomen's, abdomen has been so sore. So I'm okay with the surgical glue looking gross. I personally don't see it because I and wearing a shirt so it's not like it's in my face or on my hand that I'm seeing it every day so yeah that's my surgery issues and story and thank you guys for asking questions if you have any more please ask I will let you guys know and tell you what's going on if you really want to know it was kind of a gross subject I didn't want to really get into it but I will tell you <laughs> I'm just not one to be like, oh my god, this gross story. Though I did put um, pictures from my 
surgery, I did put it in my project life and pictures of my incisions. My spouse isn't too keen on it because like <laughs> he was looking because I just recently started project life. I've always been a scrapbooker. Um, but he was looking at the photos and he was just like, ew. And then he's looking, looking, looking. And then he's like, ew. <laughs> he's so funny. And he, he gets really freaked out about things like that. And so it was really funny to me. Um, <laughs> sorry, Bri. <laughs> but other than that, you guys, hopefully you have a great day. I know I probably will. I just woke up. It's like noon, one o'clock. Um, with Brian working two jobs and <clears throat> thankfully so that I can do get myself well and better. Um, he works really weird hours so I sleep really weird hours so that I could see him and yeah now I'm gonna get up and clean the tub and then take a shower. <laughs> I have to clean the tub because we actually had birds in our vent and we had them removed yesterday and the guy was really cool and he cleaned from the outside with his vacuum and then he came inside pulled the uh it was like a little heater or fan and he pulled it all out and he vacuumed from the side or from the inside and from the outside so yeah, my tub looks gross, and personally I don't want to clean it, but I really want to take a shower. I actually debated on getting a hotel room just to take a shower, because <laughs> I didn't want to clean it. But alright guys, hopefully those answered some of your questions, and you guys have a great day. Thank you for liking and subscribing. <laughs> Bye.